107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. Hey, it's 107.5 WBLS with me, Deja Vu, in the building, of course. But guess who I have in the building? Mr. Kofi Sirabo. You might know him. From that hit TV show, Queen Sugar on OWN, better known as Ralph Angel. What's going on, man? What's up? Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. How you been? I've been amazing. I love New York. Really? Uh, <laughs> are you stalking him? <laughs> what is going on? She I, she's scared. I thought I did something. Now she was going to die. All right. Wait, wait a minute, y'all. For those, of you, like that. <laughs> for those of you who don't know what's going on, Mia Bell is in the building Ooh. giving Kofi the eye. Ooh. She's like, ooh. I don't know. Maybe I called it wrong. I called it wrong. <laughs> I just got thrown off. She was just looking so deeply. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she be played you. <laughs> I'm not even trying to play her song. Oh, that's good. Why y'all laughing? <laughs> Nah, oh my that. goodness. All right. Well, she's been looking and we've all been looking and watching you do your thing <laughs> on that hit show, Queen Boy. Sugar. So tell us about the journey to that because this is where we're first really seeing you, but you've been yeah. putting in a lot of work behind <laughs> the scenes and stuff. So talk to us about your journey into acting. Journey to acting. Um, I started acting when I was like five years old. Dang, um, really? Yeah, my mom was running around with like these three African babies. I was mm. one of them. <laughs> um, we got noticed at the Beverly Center, um, ironically, and then uh, we just kept kept to it. And Beverly it, Center is the mall, guys. Yeah, know. Beverly yeah. Center is the mall uh, <laughs> in uh, in uh, L.A. So anyway, we stuck to it. You know, it started with print work, modeling work, mm -hmm. and commercials. It kind of like really progressed. And as I got older, the roles started to expand. And then I got into film and TV and I just started taking it like really, really serious. I started to realize how much I loved what it was. At first, it was just a hobby. But right. My mom never made it like a, you have to be an actor. It was more, is it a choice? Do you love it? And if you do, go hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in L.A., you said it was just more like a hobby, but doesn't it seem like it's more competitive out there just on well, GP? As I said, as I got older, it had to become something okay. different. Now, okay. I started acting when I was five. It can't right, be right, right, more. right. Of yeah, course. you know what I mean? So it was really just for fun, and mm -hmm. it was to be cultured and to connect and do all these stuff. And then I, I got to like 15, 16, and it's like, so what college are you going? But I like what I do. Right. Well, how, how much do you like what you do and how much work are you going to put in? So that's where it started to change. And Around 16, 17, I lost some weight. I lost like maybe 60 pounds. I used to be overweight. Do what? Yeah, I was super like just, I was the chubby brother. Yeah. I have two really skinny brothers walking around with their shirt off all the all the time. And I'm just like the chubby insecure. You know what I mean? So. Well, we I, don't see that now, right, Mia? Man, I worked hard. <laughs> <laughs> After, <laughs> she on her phone now. She done. <laughs> <laughs> but after 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 I did that, like really everything started to really progress. Wow! Yeah. All right. So talk to us about how you got with Queen Sugar, the project. I know it's, it was a book. Oprah was talking about, it, and then then um, Ava got with it, and she turned it into the show and yeah. everything. But how was the audition process for that? It was amazing. You know, it was crazy. Um, a day, uh, a year from tomorrow was the first time I met Ava for this project. November wow. November twenty third, two thousand fifteen. Wow. So, yeah, so now it's the finale around the corner. It's uh -huh. crazy. But anyway, I met Ava at the audition. You know, I just get auditions. I'm an aspiring actor, so I just get auditions and show up. <laughs> but there was obviously something really special about this project, the mm -hmm. fact that Oprah, Ava, they're at the head of it. And it was really, it was so much depth to it. The characters were written one way, but then they were explained a different way. And I could tell there was, like, a lot of complexity. So I just went in there and gave it everything I had. I happened to be at a point at the time where I was just, going into auditions, just leaving my soul on the ground. Like, mm. I just was giving everything, and it just happened to align at the right time. That's perfect. Yeah. Are you mad at people calling you Ralph Angel all the time? Nah, I love it. <laughs> I saw something you tweeted. You said that somebody came up and said they were Blue's real mama. Yeah, that was today. <laughs> they were with me. <laughs> so what happened? What happened? All right, we're they talking to, wait, me. we're talking to Kofi Sirabo of Queen Sugar, <laughs> FYI, if you haven't been listening. He's in the building hanging out. The season finale is right here, and we're going to be talking some teasers about that. All right, but anyway, mm -hmm. somebody said they were Blue's real mama. Look, I hopped out the car. We got to our location. And right. she's just walking up at the same time as, like, perfect. And she's like, oh, my God, Ralph Angel. <laughs> she said, we're Dollar. I'm Blue's mom. And she was just going, like, she was going on a tan. It was crazy. And she meant it. Like, there's one thing. I'm just saying it. She meant it. Really? Like, and she really meant it. It was hilarious. Is that one of the craziest fan moments you've had? Have you had any other ones since the it, show? Is it varies. Like, there was this one list. These girls in L.A. were on a birthday hunt. It was like 10 of them, and they happened to be at this hotel. I was at. I was just buying glasses from a from a store downstairs, mm -hmm. and they went 
wild. Like the whole <laughs> hotel went buck because they were drunk. They were running around. Right. They, like, they were putting their legs up on me. So one girl got on my back. Like it was like a, you know, I was just and I was just down. I'm just like, hey, what's going I bet on? you were. Right. right. <laughs> so I was like, you know, it was it's, it, it varies. It's crazy. So when you have a gig like this that's really popular and you're you're in the zone or whatever, do you still have opportunities for other work or do you not look out for other things? I'm not. I'm not really pressed for work. Like, mm-hmm. I really. I've never really been like that. Anyway, I said I'm not an actor for hire. Like I really want to use all of this for like really intentional reasons. So mm-hmm. I love Queen Sugar and I love Queen Sugar season two and three and four. I know I, that's I right. I really love Ralph Angel. I love the team I'm on. Oprah, Ava, like it's like a dream team. So anything I could do in between, if it's a dope project, I have the film with Jada Pinkett and uh, Queen Latifah coming out. Next oh, year. what is it, Girls Trip? Girl, exactly. Yes. So like when I could do something. But that's dope, in New Orleans too, right? I did shoot that in New Orleans. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, so in between that and the and the seasons and everything, are you all talking about the growth of the characters? Do you guys talk about the development of the character of Ralph Angel? Because we're looking like, all right, so he's doing his thing now, trying to get himself back on on, on his two feet. He's got mm-hmm. blue. But mm-hmm. what will we be seeing for the finale as well as for season two? Man, I don't know what we're going to see in season two. Ava refuses. I just saw her last week, and she just she has this grin. She's like, wait till you see what you're... And I'm just like, just tell me now. But right. she won't... But um, I can't even say what's gonna happen in the finale. Like, Come on, like, you son, you gotta give it. us something. Anything I give is gonna give it away. Oh, you man. just gotta watch. It's next week. It ain't that long. You know what? It no, don't long. give me that look. It ain't that long. It is. But it's, it's definitely some some things. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna put us in the right place for season two for sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. And when you met with the cast, was it like an instant connection? Were y'all cool? Had you seen people you know, before doing I met, acting I met, stuff? I met uh, Tina and Don first. All uh, right. You have to talk to me in their character names. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. Ruth Tina. Uh, she plays Nova. Right. Um, and then Don, who plays Charlie. So I met okay. I met my sisters first. Mm-hmm. And, um, we vibe first. We had like a, a situation with Ava, and then she sent me in a uh, routine on a little like you know to go shop for ain't vibe for my dad like it was like a little test or whatever like nice like, but um we vibed immediately like it's just family like i think ava knew what she was doing when she was casting mm-hmm. everybody is so like-minded and the spirits are all aligned so there's really just no time for anything but like vibing on set like period did you work hard on your accent? Cause you sound really something when you talk blue. Go tell uh, you dollar, uh, Charlie. Yeah, no, I mean, I, for me, it was really just trying. I, I, I found somebody in New Orleans that I really, really connected to. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like trying. A lot of people, you get there's one accent for the entire. You know, there, there's a billion different yes. inflictions. So I really just tried to be as authentic to that person that I was that I was like I and I mean, it, it, it worked for me. I was happy with it. Right. I happy well, I think it. everybody else is happy with yeah. it as well. Yeah. As an actor, you know, it's challenging. You know what I mean? Like, you really try and push yourself to be as authentic as possible. And I'm representing an entire, you know, state. Like, I can't just, you know, just be out here doing stuff. So I really took it seriously just just to, like, put my best foot forward. So I'm, I'm happy people like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're on the screen and everything. What about your brothers? Because you said your mom was chopping y'all around. Do they do other acting yeah, stuff still my, too? My brother's pitch. Well, he's not pitching. He got some. He got some things going. He got a, a show he's working on called The Plug, um, which is which is really dope. And, and you guys should look out for that. I can't tell you who's gonna be distributing, but it's dope. And okay. my little brother, he he's just he's growing up, man. Crazy. <laughs> I look at you. <laughs> I know, man. I, I was just talking about it. He's like he's 17. He's about to graduate high school soon. Turn 18 next year. All I remember is like. A little cute quasi with the dimple like he's not he's not young anymore so he's he's getting older he's he's i like that he's living life he's worked so much as a kid that mm-hmm. you know he, he needs to focus on living life <laughs> and are you focused on living life i'm trying what do you I'm do in between like, when you're not doing the seasons and every well this season once it's over now that you've already shot everything yeah. what do you do i just i stay as creative as possible i really create as therapy so i like taking photos i like writing oh really yeah i like graphic design and drawing just like anything creative really so do you see yourself writing for the an episode or whatever i mean that would be amazing i never even thought about that i i can't there's a writer's room it's different i i think i would like to write film more than tv tv is a lot more technical but I could definitely see myself directing the episode if they open it up to men. See, they don't even want men to do it. Oh, whatever. I don't know. If Sister I Ava's do it. holding it down, though. <laughs> We're not going to hate on you, absolutely my brother. Not. Absolutely <laughs> not. And they said that there's a whole new um, crew of directors this year. So I'm excited about that. Oh, nice. Yeah. What, what are you coming up with? Where will we see you again in between this season? Before, when does it come back out in June? Oh, uh, yeah, it comes back out in June. Dang, oh, well, six months. I, I believe, I don't know if that's set, but June next okay. year. Um, right now, I just finished working on a project of my own. It's called Jump. I wrote, produced it, I directed it, and I starred in it. 
Um, it's about mental illness, suicide awareness. I shot it in the Bronx about a week ago. Really? Yeah, so now I just got to edit it and cut it up. But okay. it's going to be dope. Look at this. Dope. Yeah, but in the meantime, I'm just chilling. I'm just trying to take it second to just really just enjoy life and get back to Louisiana and start season two. Okay. Yeah. And where, where can we reach, reach you on like social media? Yeah. What's your social media? My stuff? handles yes. on my Instagram and Twitter are Kofi Cirbo. So it's K-O-F-I-S-I-R-I-B-O-E. All and right. you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I don't really use Snapchat, but it's the same Snapchat. All, mm -hmm. right. So. all right. Well, thank you for stopping by, Kofi. Thank you for having me. And you can come anytime because you know you got a whole fan club waiting. Friends. Hey. <laughs> Friends. Y'all put your hands together for Kofi. Thank See you, everybody hanging out. out. Yes.